Hi everyone, it's time for us to take a look at the global financial markets outlook for third quarter 2024. We have eight key points for formulating preemptive investment actions. Firstly, US banking sector have to face the reality of weak capital positions in some financial institutions. Global political tensions and military conflicts will stay in coming quarter and will not easily go away. Performances in five years and year today make alternative assets such as Bitcoin, gold and AI thematic stocks standing out. In quarter three, we see US interest rate will remain unchanged at current levels. Fifth point, US dollar will remain dominant in global trade in 2024. We expect US stock market consolidating the gains in Q3 and only in worst case scenarios it will have a 5-0%, 50% downside. Reducing risk taking in our personal asset allocation in Q3 is implemented. We will summarize key takeaways for you to formulate Q3 2024 investment strategy in the end of the presentation. There are concerns about US banking solvency. During the past 24 months, we saw US Fed, Federal Reserve, have took over two major banks, Silicon Valley Bank, and Signature Bank, and also Fed provide emergency funding, 143 billion US dollar, and 300 billion in emergency loans, to those that in need. And roughly from the data that we get from the FDIC website, you can roughly draw a number of US. 525 billion unrealized losses in all the US FDIC insured institutions. In other words, we better to keep only strongly capitalized US financial institutions, equities, debt, deposits, and should avoid derivative embedded products exposures from those FIs. We saw global political tensions have quite plenty and are met with different kind of wars in different territory geographical locations. We saw this will be ongoing in Q3 2024. As a result, what we saw is so-called a re-globalization effort by China and other countries to reduce the trading reliance on US dollar as a media. And we see the coupling of China-US relationship economic situations are ongoing and will not be stopped at any time in 2024 and a new world trade order is developing and emerging rapidly. We expect all these conflicts, tensions will remain and uncertainty certainly provide good support to the US dollar and alternative assets such as gold and bitcoins.
3.3. When we look at the global stock market performances in the five years period and the year to day period, we see a lot of our performances are from one AI related stock market such as the NASDAQ, Taiwan Weighted Index, and also from gold and Bitcoin. Actually, the most impressive gain is by Bitcoin in five years period. So obviously, what we can see, in addition to the good performance of the conventional major stock markets, are barbell investment strategy. It means most investors are buying both high risk and low risk assets to tailor fit one's risk appetite. So it's a combination of high risk alternative assets and risky assets. That is the information that we got from all this data. Our view towards US interest rate in Q3 is remain unchanged within a very narrow range. And one of the important points always talk about is the FX exchange rate with other major currencies. US dollar will remain relatively strong. And we see the Japanese yen exchange rate will remain quite doldrum in a doldrum and we'll try to test the low. And that means maybe exceeding 160 yen to one US dollar, that sort of exchange rate. There are concerns about US dollar status in global payment systems. And we see a downward trend for US dollar yet it is still a dominant media of exchange. We see there are at least 47% of the global payments still perform through US dollar. And we saw that the important media of exchange in coming few years will remain in US dollar. Of course, the trend is going downward. Key point six, the potential correction of US stock markets. We do not expect a collapse in US equity market in Q3 and we see consolidations. If you want to have a number about the potential downside of US stock market in the worst case scenario, it will be 50 to 65% according to our own estimation using market capitalizations against GDP numbers globally. Key point seven, personal asset allocation Q3 2024. We have dialed down our risk appetite in Q3. We have increased our fixed deposits and high-grade bonds allocation to X0%. And we have decreased our risk asset exposure by 5%. And we will maintain our risk and alternative asset exposure to around 5%. And this is something that we are preparing to consolidate our gains and experience and work a new plan for 2025. Key point eight, our takes for Q3 2024. Keep only strongly capitalized US financial institutions investment products and avoid derivatives products. 
Amid global uncertainties, we see support to alternative assets such as gold, bitcoin, and US dollar cash. Global push for sophisticated technology with AI applications will provide investment opportunities from time to time. We see no change in the US 10-year Treasury rate in Q3, and we see US dollar exchange rate will remain relatively strong throughout the remaining of 2024. Rough estimation of potential downside in US stock market will be around 5050% and we see consolidations in the US stock market in Q3. Obviously, we see barbell investment strategy was adopted. That means buying both high risk and low risk asset together in one portfolio and tailor make the risk appetite by oneself as a result. Investment strategy are tending to be conservative near the end of 2024. Thank you, you, and wish you all the best in Q3 2024. No guarantee to make profit. Profits will not come easy as always. Always keep learning and keep yourself active.